so the next question is determinant 1 x x square x square 1 x x x square 1 and we have to prove that it is equal to 1 minus x cube the whole square so take the LHS LHS is 1 x x square x square 1 x x x square 1 so what I am going to do is I am going to change I am going to add all these elements 1 plus x plus x square here also I will get 1 plus x plus x square here also I will get 1 plus x plus x square so what I am going to do is c1 changes to c1 plus c2 plus c3 so what will be the first column second column is the same x1 x square third column x square x1 what about the first column 1 plus x plus x square that will be the term here also x square plus 1 plus x can be written as 1 plus x plus x square. Third element also x plus x square plus 1 which is the same as 1 plus x plus x square. So what is common in the first column? 1 plus x plus x square is common. So take it outside 1 plus x plus x square into first column becomes 1 1 1 x x square 1 x x square 1. So we got first column as 1, 1, 1. So what we will do is we will make these two 1, 0. What is the transformation? C R2 changes to R2 minus R1. That's a transformation for the second row. And R3 changes to R3 minus R1. Just to make these two 1, 0. So first row remains the same. 1 plus x plus x square is there outside. First row remains the same. 1 x x square. Second row 1 minus 1 gives you 0. 1 minus x, no change, it is 1 minus x. And the third element is x minus x square. Again, the third row, 1 minus 1 gives you 0. x square minus x, it is x square minus x. And here it is 1 minus x square. So that is equal to 1 plus x plus x square into. First row, I am not changing x square from the second row. From this, I am taking a negative, sorry, an x outside. So, what will be the balance element? 1 minus x. Okay, the term was x minus x square. From that term, I took an x outside. So, I am getting 1 minus x. From the third row, 0. From this, so I am taking a minus x outside. From x square minus x, I am taking a minus x outside. So, that I will get the balance term as 1 minus x. And 1 minus x square can be written as 1 square minus x square which is of the form a square minus b square. So factorizing and writing I can write as 1 plus x into 1 minus x. Why I am doing so is I can take 1 minus x common from the second row and also from the third row. So I am taking 1 plus x plus x square is already there in the there outside the determinant. 1 minus x common from the second row and again a 1 minus x common from the third row. What will be the balance? 1 x x square 0 1 x I took 1 minus x outside and 0 minus x 1 plus x 1 minus x came out. Again now what you have to do is expand the determinant using first column. These elements remain the same. So we are getting 1 plus x plus x square into 1 minus x into 1 minus x. And if I expand using the first column, 1 into, I want to avoid the row containing 1 and the column containing 1. What is the balance? 1 into 1 plus x is 1 plus x. And x into minus x gives you minus x square. So I will get the value 1 plus x minus minus x square. So, no. so that is equal to 1 plus x plus x square into 1 minus x into 1 minus x into 1 plus x plus x square. Then you can see 1 plus x plus x square there are two terms. 1 minus x also there are two terms. So I can write as 1 minus x the whole square into 1 plus x plus x square the whole square. This can be the answer if the question was to evaluate. But the question is to prove that and we have to prove the RHS as 1 minus x cube the whole square. So what we will do is we got the term both the term as square. So can we write as 1 minus x into 1 plus x plus x square the whole, whole square. Yes. So again what we will do is expand. Otherwise it is actually the identity a minus b into a square plus ab plus b square as a cube minus b cube. Do you remember the identity? There is an identity a minus b into a square 
plus AB plus B square gives you the value A cube minus B cube. So if you know the identity it is very easy. Instead of A here it is 1 and instead of B here it is X. So A cube minus B cube will be 1 cube minus X cube. The whole square is there. 1 cube is 1 so you are getting 1 minus X cube the whole square. If you forget this identity during your exam time, what you have to do is after writing this, you just multiply each and every term. 1 into the full term, all the three terms, then plus minus x into all the three terms. And so many terms get cancelled, giving you 1 minus x cube. So we will get the answer as 1 minus x cube the whole square, which is our RHS.